looking very well to uh, to to not only make finals this year but be a contender. Speaking of a team that uh, that made finals last year and uh, and wanting to contend again, it's Wallen and uh, like Romsey have been one of the more interesting sides to observe in 2017. I think we all expected Wallen to improve last year. They got into the finals in the final round with a massive win over Rockbank, but this year everyone was expecting finals. Um, they've got Dan Nolan on board, and he was there last year, and he's gone and got quite a few more players. They have a lot of depth. They're second in the reserves and the under 18s as well. So they're sort of showing. I'm sort of finding a lot of time they're doing what they need to do to get the wins. They may not be brilliant wins, but they're doing enough. And obviously they lost to the Summary Kangaroos a couple of weeks ago, but it was only one quarter that cost them there. So they haven't quite matched it with those top sides. So that's their next step. Probably the same could be said for their round one loss to Macedon where they kicked, uh, well, they conceded 43 points to nothing in the first term. And it's no surprise that that's one of their weakest uh, terms this year. They've only won three for the uh, in duration, but they finished the game strongly. They rank uh, one of the best in the competition. I think uh, equal, well, at least second uh, with six out of seven. They've won 15 quarters for the year to, uh, to rank fifth overall. Um, that's where they sit with the points that they've kicked this year, 89. Uh, to be fifth overall, and then eighth uh, best or eighth worst defence in the competition with 65 points for a four goal differential. Dan Nolan, leading goal kicker with 19, and he uh, he comes into the this coming week uh, with a bag of seven under his belt too. It is that you've got the coach leading the way, and you can't ask for much more than that. Yep, exactly, leading by example.